Samsung introduced the cover screen in their new Z Flip lineup. It's a 1.9 inch Super AMOLED display with a resolution of 260 by 512 pixels. This is a significant upgrade over the previous generation. It's great for answering the calls, dismissing notifications, also users have the ability to add few widgets, take selfies and just a few other basic things. From the beginning I felt like there must be something more that can be done with this. I really wish that I could read a few emails and read a few news headlines. Unfortunately that wasn't possible so I did a little bit of research and found out that someone very smart came up with an interesting widget that will allow you to access pretty much any app straight from the cover screen. But of course it's just an open source app. You may have to give up a little bit of security and also may not work properly in some cases. But Overall, I'm happy with what it does. So if you're interested in getting this widget, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So continue watching. First, we're gonna start by removing the Samsung Health app. The widget will not work if you have this app installed. So the easiest way to get rid of this app is to head to the Play Store, search for Samsung Health, click uninstall and then to make sure you completely remove the Samsung Health app just head back to the home screen and search for Samsung Health make sure it's not showing in that screen over there and uh, you should be good to go the next step is to remove any screen lock security we are gonna head to settings lock screen and you will see the screen lock type it needs to be set to none. So if you have a fingerprint or a pin or any kind of security that basically unlocks the device, you need to turn that off. And after you set the screen lock to none, there is one more thing that we have to do while we are here in the settings. Uh, we are gonna go to the apps and search for Chrome. So if you're using Chrome, go ahead and do this, uh, click on Chrome, then scroll down where you see it says uh, install unknown apps, uh, tap on it and make sure this is turned on. This basically will allow the browser to install the apps that are not in the Play Store because that's what we are gonna do next. Now go ahead and open the browser, which in my case is Chrome, copy and paste the link from the video description and open this web page. And go to assets and you will see there is an app ending in .apk, tap on it and uh, give it a few seconds, it's gonna download and um, depending of your internet, maybe faster, maybe slower, after it's download, it will ask you if you wanna open it, go ahead tap open and then immediately after you tap open we'll ask you if you want to install give it a couple of seconds and everything should uh, should be fine after the app was installed go ahead and uh, tap done and make sure the app was installed uh, go ahead and check your uh, home screen uh, menu and we'll see there the Z flip launcher then go to settings in here uh, look for the cover screen widgets and make sure you turn a Z Flip launcher on. That's very important. Don't miss this step um, because uh, it may not work properly. And uh, then go ahead and uh, flip the device. Double tap the screen. And uh, now slide to the left like you were browsing through the widgets. Now in my case it just show up immediately because I didn't have any widgets. But if you have any widgets in the way you may have to slide through them. And uh, by any chance if uh, you are uh, hitting a blank widget that might be it if you see it blank and you don't see this menu you may have to restart your phone and then come back and do the same thing scroll through the widgets and you will see this uh, list uh, of the apps will show up uh, right there now there are a lot of uh, cool and interesting things you can do with this uh, screen like watching a Netflix movie now to go back to the menu and uh, close the app it's a little bit tricky you have to press the side button once and uh, that will uh, take you back to the main menu in the widget and that will uh, basically shut it off and reset the widget that's the only way you can uh, close an app just basically double tap on the side button and that will take you out there is no other way you can uh, navigate through or get out of the apps also you can watch youtube and trust me this is the best battery saver tip you can try to do as much 
as you can from this small display and it will save the battery in the long run. You have to keep in mind that this widget it's in early stages of development and it's an open source anyone can contribute to make it better. I'm sure there are a lot of users that might be interested in making it perfect but as I said your battery will improve a lot. And then there are a few other uh, tips you can do to improve your battery like switching from 120 Hz to 60 Hz and switching from the light mode to dark mode those also will improve the battery life a lot. That's it for this video I hope you enjoyed this and if you like this kind of content please click like on this video and subscribe for more. I will see you in the next video.